It's a buffet. So now you have the, the place. Do you know where you are? So please come and uh, enjoy the lunch yeah. in, in the English. I'm Basel or the Black Black Dunn, Director General for the Americas in Sri Foreign Affairs. Mr. Atila Basimachi, Deputy Director General of the Ministry of the Trade. Mary, Mary Kepi, or next, Deputy Secretary General of State. Mr. Ali Galit in Inter, Deputy Coordinator, Chairperson of the Americas, the State. Um, representative of each Turkey Latin American Business Council of Date. Uh, the representative from Caladis Holding, Yield Force Holding, Car Power Ship, and uh, Turkish Island is with us at the platform. Um, dear colleagues, ambassadors, and representatives from Latin America and the Caribbean countries in Turkey. <coughs> it is a great pleasure for the Embassy of Chile to host this lunch. Turkey, Latin America, and the Caribbean convergence in the, of the distance. This initiative has been developed in partnership with DAIC, Turkey, Latin America, and the Caribbean Business Council Directorate. And we also, today, would like to commemorate the 100 years of the foundation of the Turkish Republic uh, by Mustafa, uh, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. And we remember him also on the occasion of his past, that uh, will be tomorrow, November the 10th. I am very, very happy, very glad of their response to this initiative. The purpose of this event are to recover the agenda we discussed at the end of January in Istanbul, to launch a new discussion inside each bilateral council and as a whole at the Latin American Day Group, and uh, in January, we talk about a new regional plan initiative, the proposal organized during the Antalya Diplomacy Forum, um, a panel, a round table, a side event, something dedicated to Latin America in political, economic, and business relations. And also, we have to promote more Latin America Day Business Forum. Um, uh, you know that for this event, they has prepared a list of topics we address. We have to address each council, but it's not restricted. Restricted, and many other topics could be added to the debate. For example, to the exam, we would like to promote and receive more productive investment from Turkey in our region. To establish a representative offices of the main Turkish companies in the region and also a big regional office. To take advantage of our free trade network and logistical capacity. Work together to facilitate procedures which agreement to promote business and trade. And to create an active partnership with the business sector that are already has an experience of conducting business in the region to encourage new companies and sector to do the same in Latin America and the Caribbean. From a more political stand, I would like to ask you for your attention. In the Latin uh, edition of the of the, um, uh, the the publication inside that is uh, published by Seta Foundation, I, I, I'm sure you know, where the under the title Turkish Foreign Policy at the Turn of the Century of Turkey. Challenge, Vision, Objectives, and Transformation, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Hakan Fidan, uh, regarding the advancement of global goals, state. I quote, our fourth goal is to further boost the policies, our policies toward different geographical geographies while offering solutions to global problems. Latin America and the Caribbean are regions where 
we mobilized all the elements of our humanitarian foreign policy, and where our ties of friendship are strengthening day by day. In the forthcoming period, we aim to transform this relation into Turkish Latin America and the Caribbean partnership policy. I know that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is been working hard to present a comprehensive document regarding the region to the minister, and we would like to contribute to its success. I will, we would also like to ask the Ministry of Trade to promote business and modernization of our relations, to include new sectors and new products, a new relation, a partnership policy, as the Minister Finan said. Finally, I would like to thank to all of you for being here today, and I would like also to express my gratitude today for having accepted and supported this issue. Thank you very much. So, uh, to say some words. For you. Um, uh, His Excellency Ambassador Buenos Aires, and don't be optimistic that I'm going to speak uh, in Spanish. I'm still studying for that, so uh, I will continue in English. Uh, dear Business Council Chairpersons, uh, distinguished representatives of the Turkish public and uh, private sector. Uh, on behalf of the Foreign Economic Relations Board DIG, I greet you uh, with respect and I would like to uh, thank and welcome you all for the uh, uh, attending our meeting, which we organized this year with the theme of Turkey, Latin America and the Caribbean, Convergence of the, uh, of the Distance. I especially would like to thank uh, the Embassy of uh, Chile and Ambassador His Excellency Rodrigo Arcos for hosting this signif significant event. There is a meaningful reason why we choose the term of the convergence of the distance. As two societies whose relations go back to centuries, we have friendly relations. And any time I'm coming to this point, I'm always remembering some point if the countries uh, they don't have any back record or any war in the past. I think it's a good record to start and establish something without any prejudice. So we have that advantage, at least politically and strictly, so we have a lot to do to go on on this subject. As a fruit of this, in the last 10 years, we have witnessed an increase in inter-religion trade, cooperation, cultural visits, and student exchanges. Turkey and Latin America, uh, the Caribbean, Luck are closer to each other ever than ever before. Regardless of the physical distance, there is no distance between our hearts. And at this part, uh, with his permission, I'm going to use one of the comments of our former uh, ambassador to Venezuela, Mr. Tevelo. I heard this, this comment first time from him, and uh, with his permission, anytime I'm coming to this subject, I use it if you don't mind. So. <laughs> So, so he told me once when we had a meeting in, in Caracas that uh, Turkey and Latin American countries, at least in majority, we are not economically competing but completing each other. So it is really a very major point. So from, from tourism to uh, defense industry, from industry to mining, whatever you, you think about, in majority really these two big major uh, uh, the, uh, the societies are competing each other, so we should set strategies on this basis. On February 6, 2023, after the earthquake, many Latin America and Caribbean countries showed the extent of these friendly relations by extending a helpful, a, a helpful hand. Once again, I would like to thank our Latin America and Caribbean friends who show how strong our bonds and its difficult times, and I would like to express my condolences to those who lost their lives in this tragic earthquake. Cultural contacts and exchange between the countries of Latin America and the Caribbean and Turkey are, are on, the, on the rise, and these relations are having positive impact on, on, on tourism. Undoubtedly, the increasing popularity of Turkish TV series, as Mrs. Yaprak has stated, uh, uh, I've been going to all Latin America almost every month, and I see at the field how really this amazing impact 
and those artists probably we should be inviting next time also into these meetings and share with them. So they are really, really kind of ambassadors representing our faces over there. And they are really amazing bridges to make the people having sympathy. Um, today, we witness that Turkish TV series are followed with interest in many Latin American and the Caribbean countries. Distinguished guests, our bonds based on friendship also continue within the real realm of economics as well. I believe there are many steps to be taken to alleviate our economic ties to the level of, of the level that we deserve. As business people, we must work harder to carry our vision of Latin American countries. The meetings we hold personally and periodically, the last on January 13, 2023 in Istanbul, with the ambassadors of Latin America and the, Carib uh, the Caribbeans in Ankara, are of great importance to enhance our cooperation. Of course, there is much to do and a long way to go. So as you say in Spanish, Como declamos ayer? Como decíamos ayer? Sorry, disculpa. <laughs> As we were saying yesterday. So the Ministry of Foreign Affairs declared 2006 as the year of Latin America and the Caribbean and they set a roadmap for the region. In 2006, our trade volume with the Latin American and Caribbean countries region was $3.4 billion, while today this figure is around $18 billion. We do not find this sufficient. The target we set in the context is to increase our volume of $18 billion to go $50 billion in 10 years' time. The various agreements currently in force between Turkey and Latin American Caribbean countries have enriched the legal framework of our relations. This framework needs to be further expanded and trade relations need to be supported, especially on the economic side, through the promotion of direct investments and the avoidance of double taxation. There is already free trade agreement between Turkey and Chile signed, on, signed in 2009 and trade development agreement TDA between Turkey and Venezuela in 2018 and entered into force in 2020. Expanding these agreements would significantly contribute to the trade relations. I could just make a comment, short comment, to uh, show you the, uh, the, the potential in the area where uh, there was an embargo in Venezuela. In five years' time, if I'm not mistaken, maybe Mr. Uh, Ambassador would, uh, would uh, confirm to me, it was around $50 million. And last year, we finished with $1.2 billion. So uh, the Day Foreign Economic Relations Board is a prominent organization in Turkey that plays a key role for 38 years in promoting international economic trade relations with the primary purpose of enhancing Turkey's economic engagement with other countries and facilitate business diplomacy. They serve as a bridge between the uh, Turkish private sector and international business communities. They works actively in the Latin American and Caribbean countries region with 12 business councils among 152 business councils all over the world. In order to attain $50 billion of trade volume, it is imperative to create a comprehensive Latin America uh, Caribbean strategy. To this end, it's crucial to establish multi multilateral mechanism involving our ambassadors, business council chairpersons, academicians, private sector representatives, and counterpart organizations. If you allow me, I think we should add our actors as well. The furthermore, to sustain the positive momentum in economic relations between Turkey and Latin America Caribbean region, it is essential to foster strategic cooperation across political, military, cultural, technological, and academic domains. I would like to express a few points that will contribute to development of our relations. Turkey, with its strategic location and developing logistic infrastructure, as the most secure and preferred transit route has become a global and regional transport and logistic hub. It is essential to find 
common ground for enhancing cooperation, especially in the areas of transport and logistics industries where there is a great potential to boost our literal trade further. Today, Turkish Airlines operates flights to seven countries in Latin America, the Caribbean countries. Increasing the number is essential for the development of our economic relations. We attach great importance to Turkey's relations with regional organizations such as the Caribbean Community CARICOM, the Southern Common Market, and the Pacific Alliance, which aim at economic integration and the establishment of common markets. And we support the establishment of joint consultation mechanism with these organizations. Energy security stands out as an important issue all over the world. Turkey has made significant retrofit in renewable energy in recent years. Turkey currently ranks fifth in Europe and 20th globally 25th globally in installed renewable energy capacities, making significant strides in renewable energy adoption. In 2022, 97% of Turkey's electricity generation capacity additions were from renewable sources. We should share experience and evaluate joint investment opportunities with Latin American and Caribbean countries in this field. We should increase delegation visits between countries. It is critical to raise awareness by fostering close cooperation between our respective organizations. In the last part of my speech, I think it will be useful to touch upon the developments in Venezuela in the last month. As you know, the embargo which had been in place for many years had been lifted about three weeks ago, subject to some political conditions. As a natural result of this, we can evaluate that growing Venezuelan economy we have economic uh, repercussions on all Latin America and Caribbean countries. As I conclude remarks, I would like to mention you about the forthcoming Antalya Diplomacy Forum. Originally scheduled for March 2000. <laughs> Thank you very much for your kind invitation and very brilliant uh, meeting we have today and also Ambassador Balkan, Mary and my colleague Ambassador, of course, and all entrepreneurs are here present today. I think it's a very good occasion to keep in touch and uh, review what we have learned during the last year. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, uh, my father and my mother, they were entrepreneurs. And I would fail them because I could only an Nixon, intellectual and lawyer. So uh, maybe I'm not uh, well qualified to talk about business, but uh, I, I was collaborating for my uh, business for uh, war in Costa Rica. Um, Ambassador Baca, you mentioned that you think you propose to, to rise to the second level of our relations, and I think it's, there are many important things that I consider as you mentioned, but it's up to us to uh, accept them or integrate in our job. My mother told me, my mother was uh, some business uh, chain of uh, she was in business. And she told me something, something very important that all, I know all the Japanese here now is confidence. It's not about numbers, it's not about the product, it's about the confidence you can create between the clients or the companies or the Japanese between us. I remember when I present my credentials, I talked with the president, so let's see. And uh, he asked me, we have to increase our work. Change, commercial change. And uh, we talked for minutes, and uh, I told him uh, for Costa Rica, it's a small country. We have 5 million. We have the, 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 the population that. This meeting, uh, it's very important to meet you today, and also our colleagues from the Minister for Affairs. Like other uh, Turkish trade journals, I think it's, it's very important. I would like to say that at the beginning, um, my intervention is more a comment but I, a question, but I would like to say that coming from the trade area, <laughs> trade is very important, I think, for the bilateral relationship among uh, countries. And uh, in the case of Uruguay, we are the last embassy that came here. It was opened last year. Uh, in November, we opened the embassy of Uruguay. But in fact, we have 90 years of diplomatic relations with uh, Turkey. The first friendship agreement 
dated from 1933. Uh, so, uh, in the case of our embassy, uh, the economic and trade area is the most important uh, area for us. And uh, I think that we have a very good bilateral trade, but I think there is a potential to increase it. And this, I think, we could apply to every country here. I was calculating very quickly, I mean, the 18 billion US dollars, uh, the foreign trade of Turkey of Latin America, compared to the foreign trade of Turkey last year, I think is less than 5%. So, my point is that I think that there is a big potential to increase. Uh, as uh, Mr. Ali mentioned, I think that we can cooperate. Uh, always there are areas that well, we, we can produce both, uh, but in general I think that uh, Latin America has, I mean, uh, an important production of goods and services, also to Kiev, and I think that uh, we can cooperate each other and we can increase this, this bilateral uh, bilateral cooperation and trade. How to do it? Well, I think one point is the uh, You have your council. I think that uh, it's important to integrate the council from both sides, the Turkish side and our side. This is uh, a potential contribution to our work. And also, I think that according to our modest experience, uh, to work with the IC and also the different Turkish co uh, chambers and companies, I think it should be important. We have it in our countries also different chambers uh, of commerce, trade, industry, etc. And I think this is a very important issue to cooperate the contacts of the embassy trying to uh, uh, promote. Can you speak in, if you want to your business? If, you're, if your business is not successful, you lose money. If our promotion of business is not successful, okay, we will continue trying. But that's important for us in, 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 the, in the Turkish business sector who already have investment or trade or business with Latin America. To talk about it, you have been very successful. Our countries are very open. We have a network of, of uh, free trade agreements that we, we, if you install something in, in Uruguay, in Chile, in Brazil, you can trade very easily without taxes and, and, and barriers. So it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's a win-win situation for you and for us. So uh, that, that is very important for us that you, you be here, but I talk too much. Uh, somebody it was, uh, um, the first Antalya Forum, uh, it was uh, pointed out that uh, Latin America will have a, a special role in, in the discussions of the presentation. And the second one we had was very low key, not very oriented to uh, programs that we have in the region. And I would like to know if for this coming uh, uh, Antalya Forum there's something uh, uh, already planned and so we can help and start pushing our authorities to, to come, you know, high, high level. Okay. Uh, I love the region, I love the, the country, the, the country and also the, the, the realities of the geography. Uh, I without talking too much, but I'm sorry, but I will anyway talk to a little bit more than the others, maybe a little bit less than Yaprak, but <laughs> she, can, she can reply to me. Uh, I, whatever I remember from my job in the region, uh, first of all, uh, the thing that Yaprak and Galif, they have mentioned about Turkish telenovelas, you know, the serials, uh, that's, that's a phenomenon, that's something crazy. Uh, it was President Maduro, we had a great relations, he liked me a lot, I loved him, uh, I mean, uh, uh, crazy, but there was a one moment that, only one moment uh, during those almost five years time that he was upset with me in, in front of almost all the ambassadors uh, when we entered the event, that was very interesting, he said, Embagador, come here, Benaka, and I, I went there, and he started, I have a problem with you, I have a problem with you, I said, why? And he said, why should I watch the episode of the, what was that, the Ottomans, uh, Museum, the serial, why? I need, I need to wait one week more than the Turkish people, uh, because the serial was being 
follow at the Venezuelan television, but they needed to make a translation or whatever, and he was upset with that, and he was serious. He said, do something. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was Venezuelan television, that was this and that, but this is how we feel as Turks in your countries. We feel at home. That's crazy. That's, I mean, you don't, you don't have many more similar uh, examples in the other part of the world. So I always felt very much like in Turkey. The relation between South America and Turkey began in 18th century. And the first visit to us with Ismail Jam, you remember, in the beginning of the 90s. And then with uh, Demirel, President Demirel, we visit Argentina, Chile, and Brazil. 96-96. And at this time I opened my first office of Turkish Airlines in Argentina until 2012. No, normally we put every, every country in the same pot and it's the Spanish pot. And suddenly there is one guy who says, no, 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 no. Uh, one big guy. Portuguese, I'm sorry, we were colonized by Portugal and not by Spain. I'm sorry, but it was like this. It's not my fault. I'm going to change history. So I'm very, I'm very glad that Dave is going to do a the seminar. Don't forget Portuguese, please. Uh, uh, now, I think, I think if we talk about trade, I think that even if Brazil will have 200 million uh, population of consumers and Turkey has 85 million, uh, we have to look Latin America as a whole. And we have to look Turkey with access to the European Union, uh, with a custom uh, arrangement, etc. So uh, that's why a lot of Brazilian investments are coming to Turkey. Uh, we have a lot of investments. We have a stock of one and a half billion dollars of investments here. It's not only a Turkish market. Of course, it is also Bandi, for example, Veg, uh, etc. Uh, but it's also aiming to get access to the European, the EU market that is a high um, income market now. And Turkey should not only look at the EU market, 